Hey guys, how's it going? Today we are here on Submagic and I'm going to be doing a honest review on this AI tool. If you don't know what Submagic is, it is an AI tool that allows you to create viral videos in seconds. You can make short form videos more captivating with captions, b-rolls, zooms and sound effects. So if you did want to get to Submagic, there will be a link down below which you guys can click on. After that, you can either create a free account if you do not have one already, or if you already have an account you want to go ahead and log in. Then you should be on the Submagic dashboard. Now for your dashboard, you should have nothing here if you've just created an account. As you can see, I've tested Submagic before, so I have a couple projects here saved. But what we want to do is click create so we can create a new project. You then want to go ahead and upload a video. So the video has to be a nine by 16 ratio because this is creating videos for Reels and YouTube Shorts. So once you have your video, you want to go ahead and drag and drop it like so, and then it should upload. So for this example, I'm gonna use Alex Homozy and show you what you can do with this clip. So first off, you can give it a name. So I'll keep it as Alex Homozy. I can choose the language that I want it to project. So for example, if I wanted to change my language, I would do so. I'll keep it as English. And then I can go ahead and click upload. After the clip is uploaded, you should be taken to a similar page to what I'm currently on. So as you can see, there's four options. There is the captions option, the style option, B-rolls option, and the description option. So straight away, what Submagic does is it adds captions and emojis based off what you presented. So whatever Alex Mosey says in this clip will be captioned. So if I go ahead and play this clip right now. And so a lot of people, when they, when they want to sell stuff, they talk about the widgets. So as you can see, it's captioned it and it's given its own colors to certain words. It's even added emojis as well to make the whole reel a lot more engaging. So really you could just simply go ahead and export this and you'll have your reel done. That's the power of Submagic. It really makes things a lot more easier, but I like to be a perfectionist and I like to go ahead and edit things. So for example, what I can do is I can edit the text. So let's say for some reason, Submagic didn't correctly caption whatever Alex is saying within this clip, I can go ahead and edit it. So for example, let's say instead of saying a lot of people, he said a lot of players, I can go ahead and change this to a lot of players like so and it will change same thing with the emojis let's say i wasn't happy with the emoji that was being shown on the screen so there's the money bag i can click the money bag and i can change it to whatever emoji i'd like and we can do this for all the captions as shown you can add emojis for each and every single one of them as well another cool feature that submagic have is that if you click a caption let's say there's a money emoji like this one here i can click the little sound button here and actually add a sound to that clip so for this example, I have money being shown in the clip, so I can go ahead and add a money sound effect, like so. I then added that, so now if I go ahead and play the clip again. When they, when they want to sell stuff, they talk about. There you go, it adds a sound effect. And again, I can do this for all the captions as shown. It is entirely up to you. Of course, you don't want to do too much of it because it will become excessive. Now let's say I wanted to add another line. I can simply add another line here or remove one as well if I wanted to. So that is the captions area. Now we can go ahead and have a look at the style area. So straight away, they have multiple themes for your captions. So they have Homozy 1, 2, and 3. They have different familiar themes like Iman's theme and Mr. Beast's theme. So all I need to do here is just simply click on a theme that I'd like, and it will change it on the right as shown. Simple as that, very easy. And if I go ahead and play the video, it will now have a Mr. Beast themed captions. And so a lot of people, when they... When they... Like so. And let's say I wanted to swap to Iman's, I can go ahead and do that as well. So and what I can also do is position this. So let's say I wanted the size to be a bit more bigger. I can upscale it and downscale it as well. I can also change the positioning of it. So if I wanted it above the head or below, which most people usually have it below, you can do that as well. What you can also do is change the colors of the text. So let's say I wanted to change the highlight colors. I can do so as well as the second color and third colors, which is a really great option to add because it makes your video pop out a little bit more and so it's just the same bland white text. Now we're gonna have a look at B-rolls. So what we can do here is add our own B-roll if we would like. So let's say we choose this clip here. I can go ahead and click the plus sign and simply add my own B-roll. I can even give it an animation. So if I wanted a film burn animation, a vintage or even a zoom out animation, I can do so. As well as go to the original option, which has a couple more different zoom animations as well. Now what Submagic have added is they've added their own magic B-rolls. So they do all the B-rolls for you if you'd like. So all you have to do is simply click this button. And after waiting, it has added some zooms and B-rolls and animations. So now I'm going to show you what it looks like after clicking the magic B-rolls button. And so a lot of people, when they, when they want to sell stuff, they talk about the widgets, right? They talk about TSA. They talk about checking their bag and taking their shoes off and who they're going to sit next to on the plane and the seat and how long the flight's going to be and the modules and the services and whatever. So as you can see, it's added B-rolls and little zoom effects to make the whole clip a lot more engaging and visibly better to watch. And that was just with one click. 
You can also consider adding your own B-rolls as well as your own animations to make your own clips look a lot more better. You don't always have to use the magic option. However, by just simply clicking a button, it's already done majority of the work for me. Then we can also go over here to the description area and they can generate a description for our clip. So personally, I don't exactly use this that much. I like to kind of create my own. But again, another feature that is helpful. So if you like this, you can obviously use that. So by simply importing a clip, I have now got a fully edited short video that I can upload to my YouTube channels or TikTok. By simply clicking some buttons and changing some styles, I have a completely edited video that I like. So regards to the difficulty of using Submagic, it is very, very easy to use. There's not much you have to do. All you have to do is simply click some buttons and choose the styles that you like. So let's say you were happy with your video, you can go ahead and save this as a project. So if you wanted to come back to it to maybe finish it later, or if you wanted to go ahead and export it so you can download the video. If you do choose to export it and you do not have a paid plan, there will be a watermark on the video. So after this is exported, I'm gonna show you the plans that Submagic have to offer. So once the download is complete, you should be able to check your download folder and your clip should be ready to go. So now I'm gonna show you the pricing plans that Submagic have to offer. So first off, you want to be on your dashboard. You then want to click the pricing option and then you're presented with four plans. So they start with the trial plan, which is free. Then they have the basic plan, which is for $16 a month. Then you have the pro plan, which is used by 80% of the content creators that use Submagic, which comes at $40 a month. And then there is the agency plus plan, which comes at $120 a month. There's also the option to choose between monthly and yearly. So if I go monthly, the price does go up. However, if I do choose the yearly option, you do save 20%, so I do highly recommend that. Now, before I explain each plan, I'm gonna show you how to apply the promo code. So first off, let's say you were interested in the pro plan. I'll go ahead and click pay now. You're then taken to the billing page where you need to fill out some basic information. But before you click subscribe, you want to go ahead and click add promotion code. And you wanna type in the code Jack, like so, then click apply. Then this promo code will give you 10% off. So from $480 US, it takes off $48 US, which in total becomes $432. So that is my Submagic review. Based off everything that I've shown, there's very, very little to floor. A lot of the work is simply by just clicking a couple options and that is it. Plus the option to edit those options as well to make it a lot more easier and to your style. Thanks so much for watching my Submagic review and I hope to see you guys next time.